Hello everyone. Ne um, in the future I may be doing some coding tutorials and most of them are going to be on something called Thinkit. Now the reason why I use Thinkit is because it's hard to find a good V online programming language compiler. And Thinkit is the most widely used and the best one out there. So I'm not going to discuss how all program languages work on Trinket, however I'm going to discuss how to use it. So if you go on to use Trinket, um, we can create Trinkets, but we'll get into that later. First you want to log in or create, a, um, or create an account and the way you do that is um, basically create an account. You have to enter your email address and your password that's pretty much how you create it, it's that simple. You don't really need to do anything. And yeah. If I go so how when you go here, um you can use Twinkie Code, Twinkie Code Trust or Twinkie Connect. These are paid subscriptions and um and but most time most of the time I'll be using um Twinkie Code, which is a free one. And with Twinkie Code you can go on you can do anything, you can create these, 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 all of them. However, the ones with key symbol on, such as um, Python 3, Pygame, Java and R, all need um, a subscription for you to do unlimited ones. So we have Python, Python 3, Pygame, Java, R, Blocks, HTML, Goal 6, Music, R. I'll be explaining them all, all in another video. But when you if you you will find out that you there's loads of trinkets created for you and these are horses. What you can do is you create a new trinket. It's to create a new trinket you need to can do Python and this is and you can literally type in any line of code like this turtle dot forward uh Oh, okay. No, ninety. Um, so yeah, I forgot to. Um, to put import dot turtle. Now this isn't teaching you Python. Just an example. So what you can do, you can run it and. Oh yeah, you run it, and it creates a line. And that's pretty much how it works. You save them, and good, it's all good, it's safe. And there's no limit to how much code, piece of code you can write. So, for the most part, it is quite good. And, and that's all I'm going to be discussing. This is quite short, but it's all I need to do in this video. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.